Hey guys, welcome! I hope you're doing great. In today's video, I have this cool project. I've done this note holder and these two trays. And this project was done only with a dry clay. I've been seeing this oval shape jasmine trays with this terrazzo look all over the internet and I just love them. So I wanted to try to do a few for myself and for my sister. Uh, I haven't used any sort of mold or anything like that, so if you want to see how I achieve these results, please keep on watching. Before starting, I drew a few sketches to have a clear view of how my items will look like and for measurements. For starting, I'm gonna place two bars of hardboard. These are about 5 millimeters of thickness and I'm doing this because I want for each single part of my items to have the same exact thickness. I'm rolling out a fresh layer of clay and I'm gonna cut four strips. The measurements of the strips are 1.5 of width per 17 of length. I'm cutting four because I'm doing two trays. This is the container that I'm gonna use. If you have a similar one that will work, uh, it doesn't matter actually if it is a bit smaller or a bit larger, of course that will change the final size of your tray, but it will work. I trace a line on my container as you guys can see because I want for the strips to come out as straight as possible. Make sure that your clay is not that wet so this way is way much easier to handle it. This part is pretty tricky but with a bit of patience you can make it. And once you're done you just have to let it dry. I'm cutting four more strips these are about 12.5 of length with the same exact width of the previous one. These are going to turn into the sides of our trays. And finally, once they dry, as you guys can see, they have the same exact thickness. We're going to assemble them this way, but on top of a fresh layer of clay. And what I'm going to do now is place the oval part of the tray and what I'm going to do is press down firmly into the clay this way and I'm going to place the next part, the side of the tray and I'm making sure that I'm leaving the less space as possible in between the parts and I'm repeating the same process on the other side and finally I'm placing the last piece of our tray and this is it for the tray. What I'm gonna do now is cut off the excess of clay. Don't rush and do it carefully. And this is it for the tray, now let it dry. Moving on to our note holder, I choose this bottle of cologne and I'm gonna do the oval parts of my note holder. The measurements are 7.5 of width per 10 centimeters of length and since the oval parts for this note holder are way much higher, place them onto our container is way much tricky. So you just have to be way much careful and patient. And once you're done, let it dry. I made these two parts and they're gonna become the back and the front part of the note holder. This is a Temperton square and it's going to turn into the back part of the note holder. The front part is 2.5 of width per 10 centimeters of length. And we're gonna repeat the same process as we did with our trays. We're gonna press down the oval parts into a fresh layer of clay and I'm pressing down the front part I'm cutting off the extra clay placing the last piece of our note holder and I had some troubles it didn't want it to stay in its place so I use some masking tape to help myself and I'm gonna let it dry and now it's time to fill in the gaps in between the pieces of our items I'm gonna use these tools, a bit of clay, and of course water as well to smooth out what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start with my note holder. I'm filling in the gaps. As you guys can see, I'm pressing the clay into each single gap. 
I'm making sure I'm leaving no trace behind so it will look like it has come out from a single piece. Be patient, filling each single gap. And we're gonna do the same thing with our trays. I'm filling in each single gap in between the pieces. And I'm smoothing out with these sharp tools. I'm doing the same thing on the external part of our trays. Be really patient and make sure that the final result will look like it has come out from a mold. And finally, this is how our pieces look. Now it's time to let them dry. Moving on to the sanding process, what I'm gonna do is use this old fabric, these old jeans. What you need is a strong fabric that will hold the sanding. So what I'm gonna do now is wet down these jeans. I'm gonna hold the fabric with one hand and I'm gonna start sanding my note holder in the opposite direction. I'm gonna smooth out each single edge, making sure that everything will feel smooth to the touch. And I realized that I didn't like these sharp edges, so I'm gonna give them a rounded finish. And this is pretty easy with air dry clay. And I'm gonna repeat the same sanding process with each single item. And I'm gonna rinse with water to smooth out a bit more and to remove any particle of dust or wherever that has a stick onto our items. Don't be afraid, if your items are well dry, they will hold water. So rinse it properly and once you're done you just let it dry once again and I was just not satisfied with the way my note holder was turning out I decided to stick this base to it I thought that it will give it a more elegant look <laughs> so I'm taking the opportunity to show you guys how I stick together two pieces and basically what I do is take a bit of clay and place it in one of the parts. I wet down the clay and I just stick the parts together. Make sure that everything is well sticked together. I'm gonna place a heavy weight on top of it. And finally I'm letting it dry. Finally, my trays are fully, fully dry and actually they are about the same size. It's just a matter of millimeters. My, my note holder turned out so beautiful and sturdy. So it's time to paint. Don't forget to seal first. I already picked my colors. I'm going for a baby blue and a light green. And this part is really, really pleasant. I don't want to bore you, but don't forget to seal because since air dry clay reactivates with water, if you're going to use acrylics, it will mess up with your paint. The end up result might turn into a really lumpy look or stuff like that. I sped up the process, but I'm actually giving my pieces five coats of paint and I'm waiting around 30 minutes in between. The paint will dry properly.
I'm gonna do now is try to achieve that terrazzo look with um, just some old brushes and I've heard this technique is called dry brush so basically there's barely paint in these brushes and as I go I turn my brushes so I will have more um, more variations on the patterns at first I was so afraid to mess up the whole thing but as you go you will see that it actually enhances uh, the item and um, it makes it way much interesting. As for the trays, I'm gonna go for just some white patterns. I'm repeating the same process with the green tray. Final result will look way much complex than what it is actually. And we're done! Finally, don't forget to seal! This is the final result. I'm so, so happy with the way they turned out. I choose a made sealer for this trace, but it actually shines a bit. They're so, so smooth. And I'm really happy with the size as well. And they resemble jasmonite trays. I use the same sealer for each single item. I was actually expecting for the note holder to be way too big, but it ended up being just perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you try this project at home. Thank you so much once again. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.